Peace family, what's good? It's your man, Ocean. We back at it. The freedom fight continues. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for tuning in to the OMN Network, seeing what we got on tap today. I very much appreciate that. Now, could you like, subscribe, and share these videos as soon as you come in the room? I also would appreciate that, especially if you get further on into the content and it's you know it's something that you appreciate it's a it's a uh you know it's a perspective that you can relate to or even if you don't agree with that you can relate to go ahead and like my shit i very much would appreciate it now today we got a usual suspect and you know i think it's important that we don't take the the the, the heat off of this guy man because this guy is a very, very immoral person, man. And, you know, when it comes to... I'm just here to, to point out the discrepancies in the way that he reports situations depending upon who the person is. He, he never keep the same energy for the white people that he have for Kyrie Irving. And, and if he... The, some of the black guys that get on their bad side. Now, I, can, I can't even see a white guy that he get on his bad side that he go, at, go in at them the same way that he went at Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant. Now, also, check out my... I, I, I reported this story about Dana White last night where he um ended up slapping his wife. His wife slapped him. He, he slapped her back. And like I said, I reported it before the simple fact that it's so many discrepancies, and I noticed that I didn't hear shit about the Dana White story. I just happened to see it on on a couple of news articles, but I haven't heard any, you know what I'm saying, actual reports on it. And here's a good reason why. I don't know who is this. Um, it said this is Robert Robert Lito BSO. He says ESPN issues a gag order telling employees not to say anything negative about Dana White slapping his wife. Stephen A. Smith said he gave White a heads up before speaking because he loves him. He's a friend. And um, update on White Slap League or whatever. I don't know what that is. But so ESPN out here telling niggas, telling they reporters, we're not going to even really even mention the Dana White story. And Stephen A. is marching right on in step with the shit and you know what i'm saying not not approaching it from a, the energy level that he have and the vitriol that he have for black men when they find themselves in any type of situation because as we know carrie irvin didn't do shit he didn't break no law he didn't say shit he didn't write shit and you know not only Stephen a but the whole fucking media went up in a whirlwind in a frenzy because of a tweet that he said, oh, I'm watching a movie. So you mean to tell me that me watching a movie is more detrimental than you slapping the shit out of somebody? Like, come on, man. You know, the, the, the discrepancies in the media is atrocious, and that's why, you know, I'm glad that I've been disconnected from that, and I only was looking at the media for, like, entertainment aspects but i'm glad that i moved past beyond that part of my life where i'm i'm depending on any entertainment and then, you know what i'm saying mostly everything is just strictly busy now and i'm just here to be to play my part in the media and to report things from my standpoint from a standpoint that don't is not very well represented but it is growing more and more so anyway, let me know how you feel about this situation. Stephen A being the book dancer that he is, always reporting shit from a, always keeping the kitty gloves on when it comes to white men and, and coming out with the hammer and nails and trying to close coffers when it comes to black men. It's your boy, man, Ocean, All Man Network. Like, subscribe, share my video. Come back again. We'll do this again. Definitely, 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 definitely let me know how you feel about this story. I'm out.